They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea. Should have gone to freecreditreport.com. I could have seen this coming at me like an atom bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts so you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. There is truth in advertising, yes I swear, yes I swear Got new Nikes on my feet and beat out Sassoon in my hair I can sure use a Budweiser fruit of the loom underwear There is truth in advertising, I swear Why would they lie to me when they love what they sell? Plus we all know that the liars have a special fire in hell On the television, radio, and in the magazine The advertising gods perpetuate the American dream And let it be, let it be Now I know that I don't need to buy Everything to try to sell me But so easily divided Is a fool and his money There is truth in advertising Let it be Why would they lie to me When they love what they sell Plus we all know that the liars Got a special fire in hell On the television, radio And in the magazines The advertising got to let you Advertising campaigns have always relied on music in one way or another. Whether it's the Meow Mix jingle, our previously covered pals the California Raisins, or this week's mascot, music and advertising has always been a big piece of the puzzle in why it works. Music is necessary as it's relatable, it's memorable, and in many cases it helps cement the ad in history. One such case happened with the Free Credit Report Band. In October 2007, Experian Consumer Direct began what would easily be the most famous ad campaign featuring a man struggling with difficult life circumstances due to not just his poor credit score, but also his ignorance of it. And despite the band not being used after February 2010, when a new band was brought in, In June 2012, the original band returned for new commercials as part of a comeback campaign. They were just too memorable to let go, I guess. But the campaign had a lot of small effects on the world, including how, in response to the ads, the Federal Trade Commission themselves produced not one, but two public service announcements to remind citizens of the right to an annual free credit report through annualcreditreport.com. It's also been stated that the advertising practices of the site were specifically addressed in the Credit Card Act of 2009, likely due to the popularity of the campaign wherein now any company who advertises a free credit report, whether on television or radio, must include the statement that this is not the free credit report provided by federal law. So, just how did one man and his jingles of fiscal irresponsibility manage to have such an impact? Let's find out. I was getting depressed because of all the stress I was feeling at home. Had a poor credit score and the number would haunt me wherever I go. But I moved to a place where my credit could stink and nobody would care. I just wish that somebody had told me that place was a renaissance fair. FreeCreditReport.com Tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your mom Never mind them and singing our songs Since we first showed up with our pirate hats on If you're not into fake sword fights Pointy slippers and green wool tights Take a tip from a knight who knows FreeCreditReport.com Let's go! Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage You might be surprised to learn That the man in the commercial By the name of Eric Violetta Is not actually the man singing the song Peculiarly This is actually because of his heavy French-Canadian accent. While the Montreal-based casting director who put the spot together had originally intended for Violetta to sing, his accent was apparently too foreign for the everyman tone they wanted for the campaign. So it was dubbed. This is made all the more confusing by the fact that Violetta is in fact a professional musician though he believes this was for the best, as the success the ads gave him allowed him to refocus his energy on his own music career and away from acting. 
His band, God Against God, is not at all like the band in the commercial either. And he's particularly fond of industrial music, citing Nine Inch Nails, Skinny Puppy, and Rage Against the Machine as influences. But it was VP Creative Director Dave Muhlenfeld of the Martin Agency who really made this thing work. He was stated in an article as having said, We thought of who's always broke, and hipster musicians were at the top of the list. Turns out, he's also the singer and songwriter. It helped that Muhlenfeld was the go-to jingle writer at the company already, though, so it wasn't too far-fetched for him to wind up being the voice of it all. The funny thing is the staggering dichotomy between the band proper and the men behind it. While the band and the commercials are shockingly unsuccessful, hence having to do this kind of work because of their awful credit score, the men behind it, both Violetta and Muhlenfeld, have only come out net positive because of these commercials. Both have home studios, both are successful professional musicians in one way or another, whether it's with an honest-to-God band like Violetta wanted, or the jingle industry, which Muhlenfeld seems content to be in. So then, how did something so widely recognizable, so seemingly successful, so extremely fucking irritating, end up being defunct? Turns out the band, now known as the original band, after a nationwide contest was held to find a current house band that they then fired to bring these guys back, was actually ditched along with the company's original business model when the FTC took issue with the word free being used to shill experience credit monitoring services. This might help to explain also their influence on that very specific wording within the Credit Card Act of 2009. Think of that just one single poorly placed utterance of a word brought down not just an entire marketing campaign, but also had a real world effect on credit cards themselves. Turns out the band, as previously stated, wasn't gone for long. The public had a sour reaction to the new band, and thus the company rehired the old guys in 2012. However, with a new twist. Now, instead of being losers, who had been ruined by their lack of experience with credit scores, they were beneficiaries of success due to credit education. The boys had made a step up in the world, it seemed. The guys were so popular that for a while there were social media accounts dedicated solely to them including Facebook, Twitter, and even a fan-inspired domain under www.freecreditscoreband.com where all sorts of behind-the-scenes goodies could be found, though the site these days also seems to be defunct. All in all, while there's not much of a real story to the campaign, it does seem to have given the men behind it a chance to truly seek out their dreams of doing music for a living, and that's kind of cool. So often do you hear these tales end in tragedy, where the mascots are forgotten by time, ruined by the experience, and or vanish from the limelight altogether, never having anything remotely positive to say about their time spent hawking someone else's products. But for once, here's a story that really does warm your heart. Violetta, and to an extent Muhlenfeld himself even, really came out for the better because of their participation in the campaign. And honestly, as people who also make things for a living, we're happy for them. This isn't to say that the commercials weren't any less gratingly irritating, though, because they were. But at least their hearts were in the right place. A decent credit score is important. And if that lesson has to be learned accompanied by goofy tunes, then so be it. So once more, here is the Free Credit Report Band. Take it away, guys. Hello? What the, what the, what the, are you seeing this? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. It kind of makes me miss the days when we used to rock the microphone back when our credit score couldn't get us a micro loan. So light it up, even better than we did before. Yeah, prep yourself, America, we're back for more. Our look is slacker chic and our sound is hardcore. And we're here to drop a rhyme about free credit scores. Singing free. Score.com.com. Offer applies with enrollment at freecreditscore.com.